Hello. Uh, welcome to Blue Harvest Vintage Toys. Uh, today's little video I'm going to be showing you uh, some of the nice little things I've picked up today. So, vin very vintage today. Uh, I'm going to do a video later. You might see in the background. But that is for another video. That is very exciting. But these. These are the things I'm looking for. Vintage Star Wars. The box return of it's it's the French tri logo. Everything in Return of the Jedi with tri logo. Because of Palatai and Mikano all getting together and uh, making it all cheaper for the for each other. I think they all work together after that. Now that uh, I don't know if it's the original. They do do inserts now. It looks a bit new to me. Maybe, maybe not. Here we go. With a top gun as well. Those come from about twenty pound themselves. The guns still click. That's really good. It's all clean. Very clean. Um, there's no stickers on them, and the stickers are in, still in the box. They have been applied. Needs a bit of a clean, I'm afraid. Now the big test is. Oh yes, it walks. It walks. Let's have a look at it. The spring seems. I don't know if that's been replaced. That sounds like it could be being replaced at some point. Yeah, because it's. Yeah, it does sound. Stand well, not on, not on the bed, but it does stand up pretty straight. Yeah, as you see, the colouring is different. It's a, it's a bit yellowed on the body. But it's different plastics. There's a big um, thing on Vintage Rebellion podcast about uh, the de degradation of the plastics. They all, they all. They all um, yellow differently, they could get differently. I'm not sure because uh, little screws look new. It could have been um, refurbished. I might be wrong, I might be wrong there. Let's have a look in the box. The original stickers. Some still haven't been put on. And they're not sticky anymore because of the, that old. Still got the backing sheet, and all the stickers are in there. You can glue them on if you so wish, but they are the original stickers, which I have very hard to come by. Let's have a look at the. Uh, yeah, look at that. That is just not sticky at all now. That's been put on. I don't know if it's been I don't know if it's been put on actually, because uh, some of these stickers haven't been put on. They might have just fallen off. The original instruction seat sheet. Tell that's original, just by the paper and the yellowing a bit. And some more stickers in the bottom. Yeah, let's have a look at this. That does look too too good to me. I think that's been replaced. Never mind. Never mind. Doesn't detract from the the uh, vehicle itself. I'll swear. Remember to put it in correctly. Out to one side. Next off, another vintage vehicle. Again, Return of the Jedi. Why they did. They changed the box on the snow speeder for the return of I don't know. I don't know. Let's see, we go. Again, the box is uh, quite nice. I got a bit of damage from the cellar tape. I think I'll take it out from this side, to be honest with you, because it's. Uh, I'll damage the box. 
at least the original boxes. And there you go. No, uh, no stickers, sheets, or um, instruction for this, unfortunately. The stickers are slightly damaged. There's some missing. Not too bad, though. You've got your your harpoon. I don't. I, I never had this as a kid. I never had this. Uh, I don't know if you can actually get a other pilot in in the back there. I suppose you can. You you only had the little pilot anyway. Never got the deck or big or wedge even. So you have to buy two looks for this. Uh, it lights up. I don't know if it lights up because there's no batteries in it. Let's have a look at the. Uh, if I can get it open. I can tell I never had this as a kid. The uh, connections are very corroded. But that. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, it's, it seems to be trying to repair with a bit of wire there. So I don't know that if that'll work, but we could get these a uh, good clean, get some batteries in it, and uh, see if it works, see if it lights up. And don't know if it had sound effects. I never know. Never, I, never, I, never, I never had this one. Um, working laser cannon. Doesn't say sound effects, I don't think it has sound effects, it's just the cannons I think. And on the underside we have the landing gear. As you can say it's quite quite clean. It's a brilliant toy. I never had that at so again these screws look like that might be repaired. But um there's the button for the for the lights and maybe sounds there. So that's good. That's a nice uh, nice little find. And uh, also on this video, Transformers. Now it's a, I've I've been told it's a G1. I don't know what if it actually says. I uh, I've, I've locked it up and it is it is. Supposedly a G1. Never had Transformers in there uh, as a kid. But as you can say, it's, fu it's fully complete. Um, it's even got the original solid tape holding the head in. That is fantastic. Never really into Transformers. And this instruction sheet, which is uh, most important, of course. Because you don't want to uh, go like bull in a china shop and uh, try and change it and break it. Like uh, a lot of kids did, I would suspect. So yeah, there's a nice transformer in the box with the instructions. So that's my finds for today. Hope you like that. And I'll be back soon with another video. Thank you for watching.